first fish of the day. We're out here trying for crappy. But crappy don't seem to be biting at the moment. Pretty little bluegill though. We fight hard on the ultralight. Benji here is using the old ice fishing vertical jigging technique. Which ironically they sold those rods in Florida for doing exactly what we're doing. Not too common to jig with a nice fishing rod up here though, but it certainly can be effective, especially for crappy. Benji just caught what we were after. Small one. Probably not a keeper, but no, that's smaller than the last one. Yeah. But yeah. Sweet. Little guy. Cool. Alright, well that's what we're after. Hopefully here. there's one, there's more, yeah, if they're here. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Another, what the? Alright, Benji's on the crappy pattern. I'm on the how to kill the bluegill pattern here. There we go. Alright, now I got another bite. This one's biting more like a bluegill, though. <laughs> Those ones are sunny. This is the first actual bluegill. I should just put one of these on my bait caster. A tiny bit bigger, still not big. Alright, buddy, see ya. What? Benji just almost caught a perch. He's catching all kinds of crazy stuff over there. I'm just in the bluegill department here. Alright, I've gotta I'm gonna just film the next cast, show how easy it is to catch a stupid little bluegill here. I'm guessing it's that easy to catch a little bluegill anywhere in the country, but may not in the Adirondacks there are no bluegill. Like people travel far catch bluegill in the Adirondacks, which is really weird to me. I don't know, I guess they just, I think it's too cold for them up there or something. Holy cow, there we go, that one's probably close to a keeper. Want to measure it and see? I don't think he's quite a keeper, he's probably like eight and a half. No, my measuring tape I left in my car yesterday, never mind. <laughs> oh crap, my bobber's under in the meantime here. Oh, and I missed it. Oh, I got it. Small one today. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, time for me to put on a jigging tube. Got a real one on. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Dude, look at that! <laughs> That's a slab, bro. That thing's like a 13-incher. Heck yeah. Ah, oh, do I want to keep them? Um? I guess I might as well. Fishing and someone's getting married behind us. <laughs> it's really ironic. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely awkward. Someone's legit getting married behind us. It's locked with another slap. Oh man, dude. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, dude. Let's go. That sucker's a. Now we're on to the 14 inchers. Let's go. I gotta get a picture with you with that one. Let me get the lighthouse. There we go. Perfect. Actually, I probably shouldn't get the lighthouse. Whatever. We'll post them after they're gone. <laughs> exactly, they're not going to be here for another week. Exactly. Not like people don't know about this place. <laughs> I know. So bad. We're legit. There's people seriously getting married right now as we speak. <laughs> they're actually getting married. So congratulations to whoever you are. You guys brought good luck with you. We're catching fish. And um, yeah, this is definitely one of the stranger fishing experiences I've had, but makes for a good video. Benji is killing it, dude! You're killing it! I should have brought my ice rod. Yeah, it's definitely a keeper. And the wedding just left. It's so, it's so weird. <laughs> People got married right behind us. But at last, the biggest crappy was right in the middle of the freaking ceremony. I just ran to my car to grab my measuring tape, and uh, while he's gone, Benji pulled out another one. Ten inches. It keeps. That's why we grabbed the measuring tape. <laughs> Are you serious, dude? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, that one can go back. 
that one's gonna go back, but there's keepers here too, so. He just hooked another slab. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, that one got away. Oh, man. Got another big one. Another big one. Another big one. Dude, that's the biggest one yet, dude. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're, you're probably at the better angle. Okay. We got him. We got him. We got him. Tank, dude. Tank, dude. Tank. Let's get a measurement on him. It's crazy, dude. I guess he's only a butt. 12 and a half. Well, I got my first crappy finally. I don't think he's quite. That line was tight. I looked and saw the, it, the line was super tight. I don't think he's going to quite keep. Oh, he keeps. He's nine. Oh, he's God. nine. He's a... Well, I don't know. He's just a hair under. Let's see. Pinch the tail. Say he's nine with the tail pinched. Yeah, look at that. Nine. Nine all day with the tail pinched. I don't know. He swallowed it too. If he didn't swallow it, I'd probably let him go, but look at he's bleeding, so he is borderline, but since he's bleeding, we're gonna keep him. Benji's leaving me, unfortunately. But we're gonna stay here and fish for a little bit longer. Any first fish on the jigging rapala, and it's not a crappie. <laughs> that would be a bluegill. No, that's a sunfish. Pumpkin seed sunfish. Not what we're after. I'll keep these if I catch a big one. Ooh, crappy looking at the tube. Oh, here we go. Stuff's happening, Baze. Boy, stuff's happening. Got him. Nice. Perch. Huh. All right. Perch at the crappy tube. A little bit small for keeping. All righty. Well, first perch of the day is a little small for keeping, so we're going to let him go. Only got one, and we're stuck on the side. There we go. What have we got? Oh no, it's a bluegill. <laughs> Darn it, once again, not what we're after. If we catch a big bluegill, we'll keep it though. I mean, big bluegills actually, arguably, taste even better than crappie. See ya, bud. Oh, borderline keeper. Borderline keeper. I guess we'll let it go. If we catch one any bigger than that, we'll go ahead and keep it. Come some of the locals. Looking for a handout. <laughs> All right, well, we're calling it quits here at Chautauqua. That was one of the most unique fishing experiences I've ever had with people getting married in the background. I guess I'm just not that used to fishing places this public anymore where there's so much people and commotion. And one thing I learned is that Benji is a significantly better crappie fisherman than me. Only the smallest of these crappies was actually mine. Um, he was crushing it here today with his little ice fishing rod and tons of other people fishing too, but Nobody else is catching anything, just Benji and the ice fishing rod. <laughs> so I guess that's what I need to take the next time I come here.